center drill and getting it sharpened properly is, is uh, a good thing to do so you can uh, use a center drill in a milling machine. Okay, you can, you can see our marks that we got on there. That all turned out nice and clear. Um, so if you have to make a second one of this part, that's how you transfer the holes to it. Let's say you've got uh, a plate that you want to mount this to. You do the same thing. You, you get your, your, uh, your V block up here, V block, and all these little contraptions and tools that we have here, you're going to say to yourself, where on earth do I get these things? And my, my suggestion to you is go around to garage sales, yard sales, flea markets. You know, there's always machinist tools around there, and you can probably buy drill bit sets, transfer punches, angle plates, V-blocks, transfer screws, all kinds of that stuff that you could probably get it for a bargain price from some experienced machinist that's retired maybe or something. Uh, that's a great place to get starter tools for yourself. Um, so anyhow, I wanted to show you that using the same approach there, you would put this on your block. You can locate by the corner. You can find your V-block at a garage sale somewhere. Uh, then you've got a, a handy tool. Usually they come in pairs, so you might want to get both of them uh, if you can. Um, anyhow, the, the other thing I wanted to tell you about is uh, sometimes when you've got a block and it's got a threaded hole in it, the threaded hole doesn't go all the way through. So, what do you do to transfer that hole in the right location? Well, they have what's called spotting screws that you can put in there. Now, if I can get this thing to screw in there good. I had a little trouble before, so I'm just trying to get this lined up here. You can screw this spotting screw in there, you, and if you can see, it's threaded into that half-inch 13 thread. And a real close look, it's got a ring, and then it's got a, a, a point on there. And I'm, I'm not doing a real good justice to this thing here, but uh, I'm going to give this a, a pop here. And that didn't come through. I, I should, probably shouldn't have shown you that there, but uh, that's the way it works. If you see on there, it marks the center mark of the screw and then that circle. So that way, if you go in and, and mark that spot a little bit better, which you're going to do with the, the center punch here, it's a tool, sometimes they got square shank on them, sometimes they've got a nice round point on there. You can slide that thing and, and stick that center punch right in the, the mark that you made and pop it and give yourself a nice big mark for your center drill to follow when you go to drill it, okay? Um, so anyhow, that's, that's one kind of spotting screw. And if you've got a, let's say you've got a plate that's got four tapped holes in there, but they don't go all the way through, uh, these sets usually have six spot transfer screws these are called uh, this is a half 13 they've got them most any size here's a quarter 20 5 8 11 i mean they got all different screw sizes um, if you got a plate that's got like four tapped holes in there you can put four screws in there set that thing down because these things are precisely made so the thickness from the bottom side of the head to the point they're all the same thickness okay um, so you don't have to worry about the thing rocking and, and shifting around there, but screw it down tight and then you can give a good blow to the, the item that you're transferring the screw holes onto. Um, the other kind of transfer screws there are, let me take this guy out of here, are spotting screws. I'm, I'm going to tell you more about these things here in a second. These things here screw in there and they come in a, a set like this. It's got half 13 as the size. That doesn't look like a screw, does it? Well, lo and behold, this thing's got a cap on it, and you get half a dozen transfer screws in there. And you use this tool, this body, the holder, it's got a hexagon hole in it, and these transfer screws have a hexagon point on them, right next to the sharp point. You just use this to screw this thing down in there, and then you screw it down till the point is just a low flush. You can uh, use a straight edge of some sort to, to tell when you're above the surface there. So you can you can do the same thing here, transferring a hole with this. I'll try to do a little bit better shot with this. Look at that. It put a, a real nice mark in there. But you still probably have to go in there with a, a center punch and and hit that harder to get a good dot. Okay, so we're looking at these unusual things here. You probably won't see this in a textbook. You may not see this in a textbook. You will certainly not see the method for twisting and marking with your drill bit 
in a textbook, but that, that works. Uh, sometimes you got to improvise and figure out how to do things. But all these little pieces here, you know where they come from? They're made by a machinist. That would be us. Uh, these are these are lathe parts primarily, but uh, even the housing that these things go in, the little hexagon hole, all of our, our screw inserts that are in there, they all are made by a machinist somewhere. So, and, and these things here as well. They're, they're made probably on a screw machine, which is a a, a, a sort of a lathe that you use for high production. So, anyhow, uh, we've got your decimal equivalent chart here, you've got your drill sets, you've got your transfer screws. Here's a set of big transfer screws here. This goes up to one inch. Uh, you know, these are things you might find at a flea market if you're lucky. Uh, all these tools here are used for laying out and transferring holes. The one thing I forgot to mention, if, for example, you're going to transfer a hole on something, I don't know how much time I've got left here before I run out of run out of time. If you're transferring a hole in something thin, like a piece of angle iron or something, if you went to and bought yourself a V-block like this, and they come in all sizes, you can get this V-block and slide it up there, and then you want to hold your your transfer screw or your transfer punch so it's straight up and down. Because if you're if you're transferring through a thin piece, you could easily be off on an angle a little bit. So uh, you know you can use the V-block to help hold your part in there and then you can transfer your mark on there you, you know it gives you a pretty good mark so anyhow uh, I'll, I'll just I don't know how much time I've got left here but transferring these uh, screws here uh, if you are on an angle a little bit and transfer from one piece to another and you're on an angle I can tell you one thing this I'm not I'm gonna give you a math test, test test one of these days that if you're on a one degree angle over an inch you'll be off 17 and a half thousandths roughly that's a little bit less than a 32nd of an inch, or half of a 32nd of an inch. So, anyhow, we're going to cut it here. Uh, 